Here are the supplies I used, a tin bucket, some excelsior, some greenery, as well as some cherry blossoms, some styrofoam, a wood bunny, some eggs, and some chalk paint. I'm preparing my tin bucket and uh, using some Aileen's Tacky Glue, I just glue the styrofoam in the bucket. And so as I was looking at this, I was thinking, mm, this may be a little bit small. So the next time I went to Hobby Lobby, I picked up another one of their medium buckets, which I like a little bit better. So it's just a personal preference, different choice. So I just filled the medium bucket with some styrofoam because that will give me a little bit more room and space to include all of my cute things that I want to include in this bucket. To paint my wood bunny, I got that wood bunny over at the Dollar General. I'm using one of the wooden plant labels from the 99 cent store. That is going to be what I'm going to um, adhere the bunny to and attach it into the styrofoam. So now that I have my bunny all painted, uh, I did two coats of the paint on the bunny. And so now I just have my little sanding tool and I'm just going to rough um, give a little bit of distressing, have some of that natural wood come through. So to attach the plant label to the back of my bunny, um, the plant label is just a tad long, so I cut it off with my scissors. And then I'm going to use a combination of hot glue and this rapid fuse glue, the wood version. The, the rapid fuse glue dries pretty quick, but to give it an uh, instant hole I'm using the combination of that as well as hot glue. So now I'm just going to figure out how or where I want my bunny in this little can and uh, so once I figure out the placement I just hot glue that in the can and then now I will work around the bunny putting all of my little flowers and berries and other little things that I want. Uh, I always start out or this is one of my favorite things to do is I will put the excelsior on the you know in the area of where that I want it usually I work in little sections and just kind of so that it's a little more manageable and I just hot glue that uh, around uh, on this styrofoam it really is a great cover up of that styrofoam this green excelsior comes from the Dollar Tree and I just decided to add it to my little tin bucket arrangement here because I thought that it would give it a pop of color as well as break up a little bit of that other color of Excelsior. So now I'm just looking at this and I um, discovered that the handle from the tin bucket was behind my bunny and I didn't like that. So I'm like, what am I going to do? So to my delight, my bunny was not. All the way glued in the styrofoam so I just pulled it out and then you know turned my handle uh, to the front or actually brought it to the front and then now I'm just gonna gl hot glue my bunny back into it so no problem um, I just wanted that handle in the front for the greenery it's a little bit short um, so I use my steel picks machine to put a floral uh, pick on the bottom of each of the little greenery so that I could stick it into the styrofoam. Now uh, I got my steel picks machine from Hobby Lobby. Um, it is not definitely anything that you need to have in order to create a project like this. It's just a gadget that I have in my craft room so I'm using it. But anyway it just provides uh, a little bit of length on the bottom of florals so that you know, you can uh, insert it into styrofoam. The cherry blossoms are from the Dollar Tree. I got this color of pink as well as a white one. I just love cherry blossoms. I think that they're just so pretty. I just popped off a few of the pink 
cherry blossoms from the stem just hot gluing them randomly sporadically throughout the little grass um, I've decided to do that to have a little dimension with my flowers because then for the white ones and the um, other cherry blossoms I'm just going to cut them off the stem put one of those steel picks on there so that it gives it a little bit more height Before I put all of the flowers on there, I want to uh, figure out where I want to put my eggs. And I have three of these little plastic speckled eggs. And um, it already has a little hole in the bottom of this egg. So I'm just kind of using that hole, sticking a toothpick through there. And then I'm just going to hot glue the eggs into the styrofoam, placing them where I think they look really cute. Baby's breath is just what this little arrangement needs for me. This is also from the Dollar Tree. It's called Gypso. So I just cut off a few sprigs of those and just include it in the little arrangement. I love the wispiness, if that's even a word. Um, I just love the wispiness of this little arrangement. I love the way that that gypso just really adds that extra touch to this whole little arrangement, the cherry blossoms, the greenery, the bunny. I'm really glad that I decided to go with the medium tin bucket from Hobby Lobby instead of just trying to cram all of this stuff into that smaller one that I originally had to do this project. Mm -hmm. 